What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Doc Knox from thisbeatslaps.com. This is my first tutorial, and tonight I'm going to show you guys how to do what is being referred to as the Drake effect. It's like an underwater sweeping cool effect he's been using a lot in his music. Um, <clears throat> here's how we do it. So jump into Logic, new project, um, sure, audio instrument. Um, Bring in the beat that you want to apply the effect to. So grab this one, drag it into a new track. If you drag in the things into a new track on Logic, you get this. At, it'll ask you to import tempo information. If you made the beat in Logic, yes, markers, doesn't matter. And that'll just help you like do it right. So what it is, the effect is an EQ. Put an EQ on your beat. Um, initiate this high cut filter. Um, turn this up to 36 to 48, either one. It's a matter of uh, personal preference at that point, just however you like it to sound. Um, but I bring this up to around 3. That's this right here. Um, click and drag this back, and you'll hear what the effect actually is. It's really just sweeping from these low frequencies to these high frequencies up here um, with this big curve on there. And here's what it sounds like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what the effect is. But we don't want to do this with the mouse. We want to automate this, right? We want to make it automatic. Um, so I'll make a new track. Call it Drake Effect. And the reason I'm putting it on a new track is just so we'd have to do less automation. So find a point in the song where you want it. I already know that I want to do it right here. Um, I'm going to delete this EQ because we're going to do it on the new channel. So... Right there, that's where I wanted to start. So I hit forward slash. I have forward slash program to cut right there. I don't know if that's defaults in Logic, but I wanted to come back in right there. So cut that, bring it down to my new track. And quick tip to get rid of any clicks or pops real quick, you get that professional sound. Highlight a region, come over here. And if you drag that up, you can put in a fade. I usually do about six, so it's really a small fade and doesn't won't affect the audio, you know, it won't affect the sound. And this will keep it from popping. Fade in there, fade out there. Sure, I'll fade out this too. And I won't fade in here because I want this kick to hit like it usually did. Okay, so we already got our EQ on here. Oh, because I copied the track, it's right there. Okay, so to automate this, we need to open up our automation. Click the down arrow to open a new line of automation. Go into channel EQ, high cut frequency. See, starting down at 74, that's where your low frequencies are. So I'm going to start around 100. There's some nice lows down there. Click in the point here. Click in the point here like I just did. And drag this up so you got a nice automation line going up to anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000. Again, that's just how you like the sound. Let's see how it sounds. It should do it automatic now. And you'll see it happening right here. That's the basic effect, but there's a lot of things we can do to clean it up and make it nicer. See, okay, how, see how this is boosted up 3 dB? That means the whole, all it's boosting those frequencies 3 dB. So on the track you have the effect on, turn it down around as much as you boosted it here. Um, you know, depending on how you like the sound so that it's not peeking out all crazy like it was just now. You know, peaking's bad. Red in there is bad. So let's try. Oh yeah, sorry, one more thing. A lot of times people will cut off, i close my automation there because we don't need any more, cut off this last part so that it kind of, you know, so that the beat comes in harder right there. Draw another fade. So we get this little pause first. Let's see how this. Cool. There it is. That is the Drake effect. Um, remember to draw in fades when you cut up audio. Um, with this over here, fade in, fade out, just grab it next to this little arrow thing and bring it up and down. Around 6 to 10 is a good fade without it actually being like a slow fade or whatever. But uh, that's it. That's the Drake effect. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I got plenty of more tutorials with plenty of little, like, you know, knowledge nuggets in there. Um, and just a lot of good stuff on the way. So stay tuned. Peace.